Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a very realistic, real life evening routine. I'm gonna show you my cooking dinner and evening cleanup routine, as well as the kids bedtime routine, but also any real life situation that might come up. Really quick before we get into the video, I want to thank Vankio for sponsoring this video. We have been fixing up our back deck this summer, wanting to put a home theater back there, and Vankio reached out to me at the perfect timing. They sent us a projector, which I received about a week ago, and we have been loving it every evening since. So really quick, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it. So Daniel just brought me the mail that was in the PO box today, and I am so excited. I did like a little happy dance because in it was the Vankio projector, which we have been waiting for for a little while. We've been wanting to put a projector out in this space so that we could have an outdoor theater and I cannot wait to set it up and use it and I'm gonna do a really quick unboxing right now. So the projector that we got is the Vankyo Leisure 430 home theater projector. It is 1080p so it's very high resolution It also it has keystone correction. Vankyo is also offering my subscribers 10% off the projector which is really nice. So go to the link in my description box but also be sure that you use that code. So it came inside this really really nice case. Sorry about my nails, they look so bad right now. But anyways, um, so here is the projector. I just peeked at it, I didn't actually completely open it up and take it out. So you guys are seeing it for the first time as well as I am. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's actually a really nice compact size. I am so excited to try it out. It's got protective film covering on it. And this is a really nice case that it comes in. That's gonna be really great to store it in. Um, so it has all the cables, a remote control right there, and then the screen is right here, and you can actually adjust the screen sizes on this projector, but the one we got is the 100 inch, so it's not the biggest, but it is going to be pretty big, and I am so, so excited. I cannot wait to get this set up and go watch it out there and just see the kids' faces. They're going to love it so much. After dinner and the kids are ready for bed, we've been going out there to just hang out and watch a movie together and it has been creating some of the best memories ever. So our evening routine typically starts- I'm so distracted Yay! by the kids right now, it's not even funny. Typically starts at 5 p.m. when I need to start dinner, but dinner's gonna be super late today because while I was outside just cleaning up and doing some yard work, Marcus was begging to go on a walk, so at about 5 p.m. we went on a walk and now we're back and, and Daniel met us on the way back home, which was really fun. So it is 5.45 and I have not even set foot in the kitchen yet. And if you can't tell by my voice, I am getting over a cold. Yesterday I was really sick and today I've just been busy trying to catch up on editing videos. So our house is like a disaster right now and I'm and debating on whether I should call this an evening routine or a complete disaster routine. So it's gonna be a little bit of both. But anyways, now I need to just get in and start cooking. Daniel just said that he really wants to go get some milk because he likes to drink it with dinner. And he's taking a fireman and princess bell to the store because that's all that Marky's been wanting to wear for the last two days. We bought that outfit at Costco yesterday and he was about to cry. He was so, so excited about it. Um, he kept saying thank you. And then last night when he had to get in pajamas, he had he had like an hour long crying session, wouldn't you say? At least. It was the biggest fit he's ever thrown by far. Hey munchkeys, I know you're getting hungry. Oh. Hey, who even opened this fridge? <laughs> you did? Anyways, and I have a lot of recycling I need to take out. The kids are begging to go in daddy's truck, but their car seats are in my car. Marcus, come on. Do you want to go with daddy? Go with daddy, princess. <laughs> Coco, if you want to go with daddy, you have to go in mommy's car. Come on, Marcus. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I'm going to be making Salisbury steak. So I have all of my ingredients out here. I will have the recipe link down below. It's the Pioneer Woman one. Um, I was going to be all housewifey and make mashed potatoes to go with it, but because I'm running so behind, we are going to just make some pasta. And I'm gonna see if there's any other veggie in the freezer outside, but if not, we will just have peas. We have peas all the time, so I wanted to switch it up, but we'll see. This is a really great last minute dinner and it's kind of like a poor man's steak. That's why it's called Sellers Bear Steak because you take the hamburger and you shape it into like T-bone steaks and you even like make little grooves with your finger to make it look a little bit more like a steak. 
I don't really think it tastes like steak, but it's really good and my family loves it. If you're new to my channel, I just wanted to say hello really quick. My name is Justine and I upload videos on joyful motherhood, natural living, and an orderly and peaceful home and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below so you'll be part of this community. Also introduce yourself because I love getting to know my subscribers better. If you are a longtime subscriber of mine, please still say hello down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. And let me know how long you've been subscribed to me because I've had this channel for about four and a half years and I know some of you have been with me since the beginning. So thank you so much. If you could also please give this video a like it would really help my channel out so much and I would be very appreciative Whoa. What else you so I bought my two two percent I got a whole oh. organic for them and then uh, chocolate milk was on half price so uh, uh, of course chocolate milk and then I got you like the cage free white eggs right So my pan was too hot and I accidentally burned some of the Salisbury steak which was stuck to the pan and I wanted to reuse the pan so I thought I would share this tip. Um, this is called deglazing. To your hot pan that's still on the fire, you add about a half a cup of water and let it simmer as you whisk it and it's going to completely clean your pan without any of the work and then you can just dump out that water and start with a freshly clean saute pan. It is seriously a lifesaver. Anyway, so I continued to make the dinner making the sauce for the Salisbury steak. There are the Salisbury steaks, the pasta, and the peas, and I ended up adding a couple tablespoons of cream just because my sauce wasn't thickening up the way I wanted to, and I didn't have Worcestershire sauce, so I thought it was just kind of missing something, but it tastes really good now that there's a little cream in it. Obviously, cream makes everything taste better. Okay, little munchkies. Are you ready to eat? Look at this huge mess. Hey, look. Found another $75 vinyl stuck in here. Oh, nice. Here comes the patty. Cheese. Go, go, go. Hey, do you want milky? No, no. Now that he can open the fridge. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Joey, what, <coughs> what did you just grab? Come back here, you. She grabbed chocolate syrup and ran off with it. So Marcus asked if we could sit outside tonight and I'm all about that because then it's easier clean up in the house for sure and we don't even have to sweep because pup eats anything that they drop and he's really happy about that. Um, so they are like pounding their food. They had a ton of peas. They both ate the peas first and now Marcus is eating his milk with a spoon. Oh, you dropped your spoon? Okay, mommy will go get you another one. Where did it go? Good, Marcus, is your milk yummy? Yeah, it's And there's Daniel eating by his, oh, you're waiting for me? I'm waiting for you. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I have to get Chloe a fork. Coco is helping me clear the table. It's so sweet. Thank you, Coco. I'll take it. You go get another one, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want her to drop the glass plates. Oh, they're cleaning up the toys in there. <gasps> Thank you, Coco. Such a great helper. Oh, yeah, get the milk, too. Is that Daddy's milk? Thank you, Angel. Did you get all the plates? Yeah, I did it. You're such a good helper, sweetheart. Okay, can you bring that into the house? Oh, 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 oh. It's okay. 
pup is loving tonight's dinner. Good job. Okay, come on, Belle. Come on, princess. Yeah. Okay, come. can you bring it into the house? Yeah. Okay. okay, bring it into the house. Be careful. Oh, thank you, my sweet angel. You're such a good helper. I love you. B, good job. Do you want to make pop pop tonight? Okay, we need to clean up all the toys in the living room and then we'll make pop pop, okay? Marcus, can you help me? Daddy, and we'll make pop pop together, okay? Mommy's gonna do the dishes. Say clean up, clean up. Yeah, clean up, clean up. Can you put some in the in the in the bin over there? Let's get this on footage. Cool. Clean up toys, and then we'll make pop pop, okay? First toys. Then pop pop. Wow. So to clean up after dinner, I just first put away all the leftover food. I will save it for Daniel's lunch tomorrow and the kids and I love having leftovers because it means that I don't have to cook. Um, while I was cleaning the kitchen with Chloe, Daniel and Marcus were cleaning up his toys. Marcus does a fantastic job cleaning up when there's some sort of a incentive, whether he wants to play with a new toy, watch a movie, or in this case, eat popcorn. Honey, not only did he just finish all by himself, but he like took chalk to there. Oh, wow, good job. Good job, Lucas. Good job, Lucas. Before we started the popcorn, I just tried to finish cleaning up the kitchen and I had to empty the dishwasher first before loading it, unfortunately, which always makes the evening take a little bit longer. I, I typically try to start cleaning up the kitchen right after dinner, which usually ends right around seven, but it was a bit later at this time. I think it was about 7.30 or 7.45. But some evenings are just behind schedule and that's okay. It's about having a little structure, not about being perfect. Okay, so it is now, oh, here's Marky. Right on cue. Anyways, it is now 7.50 p.m., just a little bit before the kids' normal bedtime. In the summer, we've been going to bed a little bit later just because we have to wait until dark for the projector to go on. So we've been pushing it back to like 8.30. Marcus, he knows what to do. The stove is not on, by the way. Yes, we are going to make popcorn, and I have to get really creative with the kids helping me because the popcorn kettle gets really hot. So I like yes, we're gonna make popcorn. So I only let them help me when I'm measuring everything out, and then we mix it around before I turn the stove on. And then after that, they have to move back a little bit and wait for the popcorn to start popping, which. They just love the whole process. If you guys have never seen a pan like that, it's called a whirly pop. It's stainless steel and it makes the most delicious kettle corn ever. And I make a recipe using coconut oil, which is so delicious. And I have like perfected the recipe. So I will have it typed out in the description box below if you guys want to get one of those. It's such a fa fun family thing to do. And the kettle corn is so I'm delicious. Yeah, and when we make it in the whirly pop, it gets like this really yummy, crunchy, sugary make, coating. It's so good. Pop, pop. Let's go make the pop pop. Okay, look, we have to call Coco now, though. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. While we're making the popcorn, Daddy is going outside to start putting up the projector. Um, Marcus, honey, are you getting ahead of mommy? I think you are. Oh no. Oh, honey, honey, honey. 
No, 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 no. You have to wait for mommy. Wait, wait. Oh! We can't make pop up now. No, that goes in the garbage. We can't make it anymore. You're gonna clean it up. Okay. You clean all of that up, and then we'll make pop pop because I think we might just have enough. Hey, honey, can we talk really quick? Hey, yeah. yeah, let's talk about this really quick. Dumping all that popcorn on the floor? That was not nice. Do you understand that? Yeah. Are you sorry? Yeah. Okay, can you tell mommy? Come look at mommy's eyes. Tell her sorry. Yes. All right. And now you clean it all up, okay? So we are going to try again to make popcorn, and we'll see how this goes. So here are the ingredients that we're gonna need. We're gonna use half of a cup of popcorn. It's our last half a cup, so you better not dump this one. A quarter cup of coconut oil, a third of a cup of sugar. Oh, I forgot to grab it, but we're also gonna add three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so first we're gonna pour the popcorn into there. Good job. Okay, we need a quarter cup of coconut oil. Kids need to stay back. Oh, 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 don't touch. It's hot, Marky. I kind of missed the parchment because Coco knocked over the camera. But anyway, so we have to let it cool. It's really hot right now and really sticky, but it's going to harden and just be like candy. Okay, so Daniel's in the bedroom getting the kids into PJs. Well, Marky's out here now. But last night, like I said, it was a real struggle to get Marcus out of his fireman outfit. But I'm hoping the popcorn is a good incentive to get into pajamas. So it's kind of become a tradition every night to watch a movie for about half an hour together before the kids go to bed. <laughs> but there's a real practical reason behind it. Both of our kids hate having their teeth brushed. And if they're distracted by the TV, it's a lot more pleasant for them. Especially for Chloe because right now she's teething. And she just does not want it anywhere near her mouth. So we're going to have fun, have some popcorn, and then we're going to brush their teeth out there. Okay, should we bring out the tray now? So I put together a tray of drinks. I was going to do juice box, uh, but I didn't want them to have that much sugar. Um, so we have milk for everyone who likes milk and a LaCroix for mommy. And all of our popcorn looks so yummy. You have milk. I got you milky. Oh, you got milk? Yeah, I got you milk. Here, can you be very careful and fill mommy? Okay. Okay, don't drop it. Okay, Marky, let's go. Yeah. Mommy. I don't know mommy. Okay, do you see mommy in there? Okay, let's go sit down. Come on. I see Daddy. I see Daddy too. Okay, should we put it right here? I see cool. And I see popcorn. And I see popcorn. So Daniel has hooked the projector up to our Apple TV so we can get Netflix out here. All our movies on Apple TV and Amazon Prime, which is awesome. So he's just picking something right now. I can honestly say this is going to be one of our, our favorite memories of summer and it's just such a fun atmosphere having this outside it is so nice and it's just different like we could be eating popcorn and watching a movie inside but doing it outside like this is just amazing and we are loving this projector the screen has a very good resolution um, it's all very easy to set up and I really like the sleek compact design of the projector as well 
I will have a link to the projector and the screen down below but the nicest part about it is that they also gave me a 10% off coupon for my subscribers which is awesome so make sure you head to the description box after this video and click on that link because I know you guys will love this projector as much as we do and when we set it all up and watched it for the first time Daniel mentioned that this is pretty much exactly what he had in mind I, this is pretty much what I wanted the only thing that I want to do is try to get this set up like mounted behind us or something like that just to get it out of the way of the kids um, it's too but easy. they're doing really good now that you once have you turn on something once you turn on something they're they're less interested in messing with it mm -hmm. Projector. I like how Daniel gets just as into these cartoons as Marcus does. <laughs> so I think the popcorn was a hit, and now it's time to brush the teeth. Yeah, Good thinking, Penny. <laughs> I'll do it. I never get to use the radio. Okay, guys. Guys, it's time for bed. Two more, two more. Two more minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So Marcus is out there trying to convince Daddy that it's a good time to do play, -Doh, but it's time to go to bed. Anyways, we're quickly gonna read one of the stories out of this beginner's Bible. This is our favorite one that we've used with the kids because the stories are really short, but you still get an idea of what's going on, and the kids really like the pictures. Don't you, my passy girl? So it is now about nine o'clock. <laughs> the kids are finally down. That took a lot longer than it usually does. I think because I was just filming and stuff. Anyway, so they're usually down 8 or 8.30. I was going to film like a skincare routine and stuff for you guys, but I think this video is getting super long and I'm getting super tired because I am still a little bit sick. Um, but yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this real life, like all the bad stuff even that happens a day, which I mean, it wasn't overall that bad. Let me know if you like this very realistic style of video and I will be sure to do more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.